What's going on guys and welcome back to another reaction video. You guys are nuts. Nuts, I tell you. Nuts. There was just comments on comments on comments. You need to react to this one. You have not seen this one yet. You have not seen this one. You need to react to this one. I'm like, Jesus. Like, I, I, I couldn't keep up with the comments. It was nuts. Like, I said, you're nuts. <laughs> But well, we're going to be reacting to Let's Game an Hour again today. Um, and for those that don't know, Josh is crazy with this game. As long as you're having fun playing the game you're playing, that's all that matters. And Josh takes this game to a craziness. For those that don't know, I like to be build clean, efficient, mega structures. And Josh builds spaghetti. And in the last, vid in the last reaction video, you saw how crazy it went. I was gobsmacked. I, it, it was insane. But today, we're going to be reacting. I've skipped a few, but we're going to be reacting to I built a railway system literally through a mounting and into hell. So we've jumped ahead a few months. I believe he released this one in July of 2019, which is a couple of months after the game's release. Without further ado, let's jump into this. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit terrified. A little bit terrified. But you guys wanted it. I'm delivering it. Here you go. Let's start a brand new video. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game. Hi, Josh. It's that time How you doing? Again. Satisfactory. Hi. Let's do this. We've built a lot of crazy things in this game, starting with this little zigzaggy guy. <laughs> Hold, please. <laughs> I know we jumped a couple. <laughs> Let's go back a second. <laughs> what was that? Tree. Let's do this. We've built a lot. What is this? Is this this weave you guys have been going on about? Is this this weave? We, 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 weave? Gee, I can't even speak. A lot of crazy things in this game, starting with this little zigzaggy guy, which turned into this zigzaggy guy, which turned into seeing if we could make a spiral, which you can, and all it costs <laughs> you is your frame rate. And we took that tornado and flattened it. Bloody hell. Is he trying to build a basket? I feel like he's trying to build a basket. Either that or it's like a mega waffle. You know, put a bit of syrup on that. Jesus. ...on the ground and made this weave thing. It takes three <laughs> hours for these materials to get through here. After that, Wait, we how long? The thing. Three it hours? Takes three hours for these materials to get through here. After that, we returned to the tornado, built some factories inside it, and we gave it a little cone. Oh my god. Just so you're advised, I will be pausing it. It's a reaction, alright? If you want to watch the full video, please go in the description. <laughs> go to his channel. Show him some love, because this is nuts. This is insane. He's put a bloody hat on it. And he's put refineries, and the old refineries I made. Do you know what that looks like? That actually looks like... Um, I've recently been playing it. No Man's Sky. The 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 the, uh, the 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 place you go on with that big red gluey ball kind of thing. Future bits. Put a picture, like, up here somewhere. I don't know. Anywhere around here. Whatever. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Hat thing. Now it looks like that diamond thing from No Man's Sky. <laughs> Literally. That is what I mean. It looks like the big thing with a gooey ball in it. See where you're going here, Josh. See where you're going. Our brains are similar in some ways, Mr. Let's Game It Out. Same, in some ways, not in all, but, oh god. I was also trying to make like a truck ball pit thing that we could ramp over with our sweet vehicle, but instead it turns out we made sentient life. These trucks are alive now, and they made my frame rate even worse. Pretty much everywhere in our base now is just a total spectacle. So let's take a look, see what's new. This is our hub, this is where all the magic happens, this is oh where boy. we get new objectives and unlock new stuff. All of our previous tiers, we've already unlocked everything, but something that's new is a monorail train technology. To unlock this uh -oh. milestone, we need to fulfill I'm scared. this cost down here. My favorite part is once you give it all the materials, this big button comes out, and that's when you launch these things into the sky. Enjoy yep. your materials wherever you're going. Okay, let's see what new kinds of stuff we can build here. So we got a choo-choo train, we got a choo-choo car. <sighs> the old freight cars. 
car, Choo Choo Station, whatever the hell this is, this sadness, and the railway, which I'm hoping I can abuse. Here's another piece of the fun, by the way. This here is the space elevator. Previously, we give this thing a sacrifice to unlock new tiers, but we've mm -hmm. unlocked them all. Until now, all we have to do is give it all these materials, and it's Nuclear like, power. tier 7 and 8. You know what? All the materials I need to unlock stuff aren't even close to this thing. So let's just dismantle this thing and take it with us. If you go right over this ridge, you can see over there, that machine right there is what's making oh. our computer. The, it, I forgot what it is. We, we used to call it like the pizza oven. That's the old manufacturer, like the super old manufacturer. It looks terrible compared to the one we have now. And right over there is the big machine that makes the heavy modular frames. Considering that's all the things the space elevator needs, we're going to build it right on over here. Gee, space elevator, why are you so big? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Perfect. Slam that bad boy down. Watch as it slowly gets rebuilt. I'm actually glad we all get to watch this again. Looks like a bunch of robot <laughs> legs just doing a, th a thing. And then yep, before I'm... you know it, oh, oh. <laughs> God, this is so weird. And then the toes grip on and oh, I forgot all about this part. Once Space Elevator is satisfied with the materials, it tells us to lock them down into the thingamabob, which we're doing now. They're just compressed into one big space cube. And then we oh, space this send guy, them man. to the this Space guy. Elevator. Now let's dismantle the Space Elevator. My eyes are Sweating. has a chance to send the materials. It looks like they're still trying to send them into space. Yep. Okay, let's check out the hub. You can still do that today. Anyway. Hey, there it is. Take that space corporation. Nuclear power. Now you mean you. We got a nuclear aluminum. power plant, nuclear space batteries, control rods, nuclear phone booth. And then <laughs> nuclear phone booth. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to start calling them that. Oh, uh, I've got to start calling them that. White square, which if you use your imagination, you can see a hazmat <laughs> suit in there. Filters, and then new thingamajigs for my scanner. And then we've got Bayer process. Ooh, Miner Mark Three, mm -hmm. Conveyor Belt Mark Five, Alucard aluminum sheets. That thing I had trouble putting on my processor. <laughs> my cup runneth over. There's so many things it's even going off the page here. Okay, so that's great and all, but we'll come back for that right now. It's train time. Okay, so here we are out in the middle of nowhere, where everything is simply untouched by civilization. You may also remember it as the place the I went to try to get oil and then i was gonna i was just about to say i'm glad you put coal up there because yeah just drove off of a cliff this is the way to the coal you tell me where the coal is i oh yep. oh that's not good we remember that pretty well okay? don't we yeah i'm sure the vehicle will be okay in heaven <laughs> oh no so i think the first thing we need to make is a train station oh we're these train, train stations station are horrible right, i guess like this uh, yeah, so, so much better now scuff, scuff, scuff. can i change that oh fun fact for you if you don't know this all of the default train stations, the names that come up, are places in Sweden. Because that's where coffee stain are from. Thank God I can name my train station. Don't get on this train if you value your life. No, seriously, this guy is. Oh, no, it's going to go off the thing. A couple of things. Let's, uh, let's see if it fits on yep. the. I knew that was coming. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting this. I'm not going to give you the whole story. I'm just going to get to the relevant part that you should know about. One day I ate an entire three and a half pound bag of Sour Patch Kids. That's. Oh my god. Now I, need, now I understand where the Sour Patch Kids meme come from. I think now I understand why. Really the only part of that story you need. Please don't take this out of the game. This is not a bug. This is perfection. So here's what I think we're going to do with our train station. You see that paradise back there? I'm on our train to go there. Can I just like build railway? Okay, so it can do subtle curves and it can do fun little straightaways like that. And mm -hmm. if I time it, I'm it terrified of this right now. Ground. Perfect. Okay, so it can do stuff. It just can't turn too drastically, oh, you know, no. like real trains, I guess. Well, now that we've laid a minimal amount of track, I want to put down a choo-choo train see what happens yep there it is can i just like hop on board wow i sure can and now i'm driving it yeehaw oh wow this thing can really get going do you see this oh wait what's gonna happen now oh oh uh, what happens oh, when it gets to the end it it's just gonna oh, stop really? it just stops like this <laughs> wait what happens if in this part where i'm uh one with the ground and then i just get out oh i guess i'm just in the rock face what if i remove track that it's on at the time oh <laughs> just decides uh, well we're stuck here then okay new objective looks like these things can just clip through walls Get the, the, there's, a, there's a thing, right? There's a thing uh, in Satisfactory. We, we like, I call it science. When we're trying to science new things, trying to find new angles, new clipping methods that looks functional, and Josh has his own functionality, and it's insane. And it wouldn't surprise me if like a lot of this stuff was left in because of it being found. Like you can still get under the map today. You can still get under the map now. People build factories under the map, like massive huge factories. I've never done it yet. Yeah. 
the rail close enough. Alright, how can we use this to our advantage? Because it seems like trains don't give a crap about physics. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> oh no. God. Okay. Oh no. Oh, He's building a roller coaster. On? Okay, well, as I've been building this thing, I uh, have hit what I believe to be the bottom of the level. Can I put track like Just don't go too low, Josh will hit the void. To? Oh my god, I think you totally can. So when building this, I realized that you can just use these foundations to keep going lower and lower here. These trains are afraid of nothing, as it turns out. Oh, oh. There oh, it is. Hurts. My frail human body can't cross this threshold without hurting myself. Mm, 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 mm. Well, that's a very dignified way to die. It'll be now hard to get any stuff back. What about if we use a train? Oh, hell yes. While we're in the train, we're basically gods. Okay, we're going to have to work on some ways to keep our health up. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's been fixed now. You can't do that anymore, I don't believe. Because when you used to be on a tractor or a truck as well, it used to be the same. And you, could, you couldn't die on it, especially when you go through the gas and stuff. Like, I think that's been fixed now. Huh? And I have just the thing. I don't know when this showed up. We can research a medical inhaler. Okay, here you go. See you in hell. Let's see. I bet we can build it over here. There it is. What do we need to make it? Mycelia, alien organs. Mm -hmm. I see. The one thing I don't have a bunch of. You know what I do have, though? Let's go find some wildlife to maim. I bet there's some critters in here. Good thing I brought an old friend of mine. <laughs> nice throw. I Good knew that was coming. Throw. <laughs> I, saw, I didn't see the bar go up. With a little yeah. more feeling. Hit. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I see. One's not enough, huh? Okay, Rox, maybe this is more to your liking. Let's see if you like this a little bit. Uh, hit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, yeah. it just goes for a while, doesn't it? Huh, was there nothing in here? The hell is this thing? Oh, this is a huge disappointment. A work in progress sphere that doesn't do anything. Here, you can keep it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As soon as 1.0 mm -hmm. comes out, mm -hmm. it's coming with a story. Great. One alien organ. Okay, 26 should be enough. All right, let's just make this into... Uh, I don't know what I did with my mycelia. The best way to get mycelia and by... Oh my god, when did he do... Oh, that's the oil. Oh my god, I forgot that's what oil look used to look like. I totally forgot about that. Pipes were, oh my god, pipes aren't a thing yet. And then they released the pipes and then coal engines got it all. But anyway, that does not matter. Best, I mean, the only way I know how, so there's probably I'm going back in time, it's like a history lesson. follow the oil brick road here. Which well, they sprinkle of chaos. <laughs> takes us deeper into this mysterious jungle. And then at some point, it's just all over the ground. Gimme, 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 gimme. I need to grind you up and inhale you. And while we're out here, let's show nature who's boss. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now I got some mycelia. So let's do this. Now I'm one of the cool kids running around with my eight inhalers. I like how you can see all the times I've died down here because <laughs> my little coffins are here. Okay, so my goal here, keep going down as oh far as we can. Oh my god. So I've been slowly trying to build down and down and down and also using these platforms to get me closer and closer so I can keep building. The but thing is, a little further down. he's not clipping right now. This is kind of like a normal build, just underground. You know, I might build underground. Maybe I'll do it in this Let's Play series I'm doing. And this is where things get dicey. Right around here is the Maybe. threshold where I start to take a little bit of damage. It's time to yep. use my inhaler. <laughs> Oh, this thing's bigger than my head. Yeah, this is the way to play, right? Like, this is what they intended, where you just sit here taking damage forever. Okay, so we've sort of hit a problem here. Obviously, things are already looking bad now that I'm here doing construction in the underworld. You know what the hell with it? I'll just show you. There is a finite point when if you just keep walking, you just die. <laughs> <laughs> this is that threshold right here, where if a human being goes beyond this, that's when your heart just stops. Something really funny to me about this inhaler. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I have one, but it's... It's like, oh no, certain death. <laughs> I'm glad my little casket is just right there on the cusp. Let's see if we can get out and get it. Luckily, I've got some trusty inhalers. Hopefully, that'll be enough. Oh God, oh God, there's no way for me to- Josh was just born to do content, wasn't he? He was born to do content. It's what makes him into the person and why he is what he is today. He, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's the man, he's the goat get to my stuff. Well, if this takes you straight to hell, I can't think of a better place to put a train station than here. Ta-da! Now we have a train stop as close to hell as we can get. Old Stenstorp. Well, I guess you're gonna have to do since I actually can't change this. Well, that was surreal as hell. Let's do a quick tour of the finished product here. I was gonna go to that- The fun thing is, is with that train name, because... Oh, actually, back then, now, updates don't actually delete your save or anything like that. There wasn't- there was a big wipe at some point. If he didn't get wiped, he would have still had that today. Okay, so this is future bits. I do believe, after when everyone lost the saves and everything way back then, I believe Josh did get his save recovered. Um, I could be mistaken. I could be wrong here. 
but I'm pretty sure he got his save back from the developers, I think. That island. But that's before I realized the rails don't really care about solid rock or land or anything like that. You remember the Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland? You remember where it went right into the rock face? Well, that's what's happening here. And then we just keep going down past where the terrain is. You can see the grass from the underside. And then we just keep on going. Take that, planet Earth. And what the hell? Let's put the space elevator down here. Why not? Isn't that a thing of beauty? Now it's Brief. doing that thing that I find really weird and uncomfortable to look at. Oh god, here it comes. Right <laughs> through the rock and everything. Well, that's super. Let's go see what it looks like from the outside. <laughs> well, there it is. Look at this beautiful <laughs> intersection of so many things. We got the space elevator popping out through the ground, and it cuts right into my text that I wrote, where I'm writing that my teeth are forever sensitive from eating too many Sour Patch Kids, and that's true. And now I can just go right up and touch the space elevator. Uh, or not. Maybe after all that train stuff, I'm just not corporeal anymore. All right, anyway, that was a barrel of laughs. Now that we're back up here with Mother Gaia, let's go play around with some nuclear energy. First things first is we need to go find us some oh, uranium, because no. of course we do. Oh, Fiddle sticks. Is there no uranium around here? Oh, there we go. 50 I don't think he knows about the uranium waste yet. The nuclear waste, I should say. Maybe. I don't know. 1,500 meters. That's not so bad. That's like, what, two basketball courts? Huh. I feel like we might be getting close. That green stuff looks exciting. So exciting, I need to use my inhaler. Let's see, what is this? Oh, yeah, some uranium. Oh, yeah, I'm getting radiation poisoning. Well, mm -hmm. I'm not going to let a little radiation stop me from... Oh, oh, yeah, oh it's you're, a little much. Yep, little yep, much. Get, when does it get, go down? Get Am I just like this forever now? I mean, I got a lot of these inhalers, but not quite this many of these inhalers. This is exactly what I expected out of today. I'm fleeing from the wilderness <laughs> to get back indoors while I use my inhaler over and over while running. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh god, there's the cocoon. It's so beautiful. Blah. Oh, you know what it is? Oh, it's because I picked up some uranium. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave you, uh... The one thing he's brilliant at is story and retention. Because the retention in this video is just bam, 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 bam. One second, two second, three second clips. Keeps you engaged. That's what makes him brilliant, as well as his personality. He knows what he's doing. The guy knows what he's doing. And it's what makes his videos go that extra mile. Because it's brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> Just right here on the ground while I try to figure out what to do with you. I guess we need that hazmat suit. That stuff is serious. So let's see. All we need is rubber and plastic and all clad aluminum sheet like my pots and pans. <laughs> oh, it comes from aluminum ingots. Oh, it's aluminum foil. Why don't we just call it that? For starters, we need to make some aluminum ingots, which is bauxite and silica. All I want is to wastefully make nuclear I don't know if he's going to get it from the red forest. so hard? So let's scan for some bauxite. Bauxite? Bohite? Could it be bohite? A mere 1,400 miles miles away. I'm sorry, meters. But let's go with miles. Let's go get us that bohite. Well, this certainly yeah, is taking red us forest. to an interesting place. <laughs> but we found it. Okay, we know the drill, literally. And as always, just run our conveyor belts back forever with just no regard for the landscape. And that's how you get bohite. I reset up our quartz here to go into this machine and make silica. And it makes this beautiful ballet of minerals and... He didn't have to do that, did he? But he did. He didn't have to cross them like that. Why, Josh? <laughs> Why? You didn't need to. They're right in front of each other. They could have just gone straight in. Ah, that sounded wrong, didn't it? Twisty turnies and conveyor belts and stuff. The moral of the story is I have a lot of silica already, and this is how excited it makes me. We got our silica here. We got our bohite right over there. Let's smack down a foundry here. One size for the bohite, the other size for the silica. Just get in there. Can I just, like, put this? Yeah, yeah, just right on top of it. Yeah, that's perfect. There you go. Collect all of my aluminum thingies. Cool, we got this container that's using this crash pod as a leg. People probably died in that thing. No big deal. Next step is going to be aluminum sheets, which takes aluminum ingots and copper ingots. So let's do the fun part and go find some travesty of a copper thing I've got going on here. At this point, I've just got garbage going everywhere, so we just need to look at one of these copper machines and kind of tell it to do something else. I'm just going to jam a splitter. There's just so much information right now, and I don't mean just from Josh, just visually. Like, you don't, I don't think you understand how my brain's working right now. Like, for, for me, I've got thousands of hours in this game, and I'm looking at all this information I, look, I know i know exactly what he's making i can see the outputs and i see the inputs but then it's just my brain is going what why and you know why because in satisfactory you can and this proves it you know right yeah that looks good and let's use one of these silly vertical ones aim it way high in the sky good there we lifts. go perfect cool yeah this seems necessary right all right this is too much work come down from there yeah this looks so goofy here comes oh, our no. copper let's further i thought he was gonna do like belts all over that mountain trampled by copper ingots now where we will do some sweet sweet assembling and we'll put the storage unit there's no way this will work oh my god it works <laughs> 
I can't believe the game let me build a storage unit up there. Anyway, yeah, that's where the sheet metal goes in my secret little tree fort. Surely that's going to be okay on these tree roots, right? It's time to make our hazmat suit. I'm going to say it now, and probably you guys will let me know in the comments anyway, is I wonder if he's going to find in the Titan Forest, if he's going to do it in the Titan Forest, because there's some mahoosive trees. Mahoosive trees. Dude, and what a thing of beauty this will be. All we need to do is hit this thing 30 times, and now we have our brand new hazmat suit. Ugh, forgot about these things. Yep. Filters. Quick wire. What the hell is quick wire? Caterium. Oh, God. At least you can tell I look super sweet in my hazmat suit. I found some caterium ore along the way somewhere. I put it in this thing. To <gasps> the mommy's inside the hub. Hi. Oh, boy. For those that don't know, you can now get it as a solo item. A little researching. Made something pop up over here in tier three, which is the Caterium I apologize if I'm bloody pausing too much, but I can't help it, all right? It's going to give us access to all these things like quick wire, but also blade runners, sprint faster and jump higher, magic legs, finally. Okay, Speed. here you go. Send the thing. Cool, now we can make quick wire, and we need Caterium ingots for mm -hmm. that, which we can scan for. All the ore colors there's of the There's some right rainbow. next to you, Josh, well, next to a waterfall. Mess, there's some close by, only 600 meters away. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. Goodness, is it going to be right next to the space elevator? Could we no. be so lucky oh. flying bat no, right not as close, oh my God, but... Is that it right there? Oh no, this is just crappy old copper. The good stuff must be up here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Ah, there it is. Yep. Boulders, eh? Good thing I'm packing. Never leave home without the Bam. things that do that. I feel like we've done this before where we put the thing down. Yeah, I'm just going to spice it up, even though I know it's not going to do anything. Just to make life hard on myself, I'm going to build all my Caterium stuff over here with the space elevator. Can I put this literally in the thing? Okay, perfect. And can I put the constructor directly on top of it? Okay. Okay, perfect. And then I'll put the storage container holding the quick okay, wire perfect. up on this hill here so we can take a look at the sunset because I definitely won't regret this when I need to keep going back and getting more quick wire and it's all the way over here. Okay, so we're going to make some regular filters. Going to take those, going to mix it with our quick wire and some rubber. We're going to do five because I don't want to deal with this ever again. Okay, I'm totally wearing it. I don't <laughs> know why I was expecting more. I was expecting everything to sound like I was in like a space suit. Why can't I wear my jet pack too? I'd rather have radiation poisoning. You can now. You can now officially in update six, you can wear your hazmat suit, your jetpack, and your blade runners all together. You can. So, has he, I wonder if he's done an update on a video since update six. The last thumbnail is for drone, so maybe update four was his last video. I also researched the actual quick wire, which unlocked Ethereum Electronics, which be still my heart, has unlocked some fun things we're gonna need, like this here AI limiter, as well as a oh supercomputer, and this high speed connector that I'm gonna call high speed internet. The reason we're gonna make all this stuff is if you look over at the nuclear power oh. plant, we need supercomputers to do it, as well as more high speed connectors, because it can't just be one thing. To put together the supercomputer, we need computers, the AI limiter, the high speed connector, and plastic. So let's head back over here where we built all this weird quick wire stuff. Let's get our whole assembly system started. First, we're going to set up something for the AI limiter, which is going to need circuit boards as well as quick wire. We can do that with a simple assembler. Over here, we got plastic, we got circuit boards, and we got wire. All of these things are coming from way over there where the cocoon is. So I really could split them off there, but why do that? Let's give them as long a travel time as possible. So now to continue making the AI limiters and this guy, we're going to send a bunch of the circuit boards over to this here constructor. Just spit it out into that savannah over there. I don't care. Now that we've done that, let's make the high speed connectors, which are quick wire, cable, and plastic. To do that, we're going to use a manufacturer, which will just keep creeping further and further into nature with these things. In goes the quick wire and the plastic and the cabling. And finally, we put down another manufacturer, which is where we're going to build our supercomputer. And now I'm going to send them out on a Mark 1 conveyor belt. It goes nice and slow. You can really enjoy the merchandise as it comes off the assembly line onto the show it's floor. This could be a full so spinning around. Okay. Okay, at long last, it's time to drop down our nuclear power plant. We should put the power plant somewhere kind of exciting, kind of nice. You know, somewhere overlooking several waterfalls. How far off the edge can I do this? Perfect. Oh, yep, no. There it is. Just hanging out in the water. What do you think, big guy? Bean! Do you, uh, do you like things touching your no! face? No! Huh, guess not. <laughs> so I was gonna try... Poor Bean! Try to get to all the nuclear stuff today, but I think there's still a whole lot left to do. So we're going to save that for next time. I have some more ideas for what we're going to do with the train, too. So come back. We'll see how this goes. And also, don't forget, don't eat a three and a half pound bag of Sour Patch Kids if you want to keep your teeth not sensitive. You're welcome. Flipping you Sour next Patch one. Kids. And there we have it. There we go. Another absolute incredible video, by the way. And guys, go and check out his links in the description. Go and check out all of his shebangs. You know how to do it. And, uh... Hopefully you guys are happy now. You guys kept requesting or did another one, so here you go.
So thanks for watching. And uh, go and check out his content if you've not. I'm guessing you already have. But anyway, keep smiling and I'll see you in another video.